For me, I always have been a member and I've always loved the gospel and I've always known that it's true. Um, but there was a time kind of before my mission when I moved down to BYU and that was really the first time I'd ever moved out and the first time I'd ever really been on my own and had those decisions on my own to make to, to live the gospel. And I remember I, I signed up for Book of Mormon class because that's what you do at BYU and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to prepare for my mission. And I remember one day I, I, I came and I sat in the back of the class and um, the teacher, he, the very first thing he ever taught was the promise that comes from the Book of Mormon. And he went in to, to give a promise from Ezra Taft Benson. And I was sitting in the back, I wasn't really paying attention as well as I, I could have, but when he, he put this quote up on, on the board, I still remember it like it was yesterday. And it was Ezra Taft Benson saying that, that there's a power in the book that will begin to flow into your life the moment you begin a serious study of the book. And he went on to promise, promise many blessings that, that would come, that we'd have greater power to resist temptation, to avoid deception. And when, begin, when we began to hunger and thirst after those words found in the Book of Mormon, we would find life in greater and greater abundance. And that was really the moment when everything just hit me. I'd already prayed about the Book of Mormon, I already knew that it was true. And now it was time for me to actually dive in and, and find out and apply what it, what it taught. And so I made a goal to read the Book of Mormon every day, and it changed my life. Um, you know, the, all those promises that Ezra Taft Benson gave us came to pass. And I knew at that time that the Book of Mormon was, was true. And that its teachings were true, and that when you apply true principles in your life, they change, they change you. And not only that, but you can be a light and an example to other people.